Today's video, I'm going to go over some exercises that you can add into your regime. They're going to help you last longer in the bedroom. Now, if you're already taking the Stud formula from Clubhouse Supplements, you're already on the fast track to fixing this problem once and for all. But these are some exercises you can just add into your regime that are going to get you those results faster, consistently, long term, and in general, help to improve your overall sexual performance at the same time. The first one of these exercises is a reverse Kegel. If you're familiar with what a Kegel is, a Kegel exercise is basically that sensation you make as a guy. If you're pissing, try to stop the pee from flowing out of your penis. That clenching that you do when you stop your pee from flowing, that is a regular Kegel exercise. A reverse Kegel is basically the opposite of this. The sensation you would make if you're trying to force the pee out faster. What this does, it causes the relaxation of all the pelvic floor muscles down there. Whereas a regular Kegel will like tense and tighten it, a reverse Kegel will relax it. When guys suffer from premature ejaculation, a lot of the time their pelvic floor muscles are already in a very tight state. So we actually want to try and relax those muscles a bit more. And a reverse Kegel is one way to actually relax them quite consistently and effectively. How do you do this? You could simply do this exercise on the regular. Another way of doing it is the first thing in the morning when you get up to pee, push that pee out as fast as you can. What you'll find is your pelvic floor will be naturally a lot more relaxed. You don't have to do this exercise every single time you pee. In fact, I would re recommend against doing that. But if you have problems with premature ejaculation, it's very likely that yours is extremely tight. So relaxing it with a reverse Kegel is a fantastic way of getting over this problem. The next thing you can do is glute bridges. And glute bridges are another exercise that will strengthen the overall pelvic floor region. Kind of doing the, the balance, the yin to the yang that we talked about with the reverse Kegels. Having a balanced pelvic floor, which is strong on both sides in the, in the tense state and the relaxed state is healthy and is good for overall pelvic floor and sexual health in general. Another exercise that you can add in that's gonna be fantastic for your overall sexual performance, overall sexual health, and your thrusting power in particular, and your thrusting endurance is the two-handed kettlebell swing. I like to do these at low to moderate weight and high reps in one long set because it works on your endurance, your cardiovascular endurance to, do, to a degree, but also your muscular endurance in the act of thrusting. I personally used to do 24 kilos for about 70 reps. I do this a couple of times. You can adjust that however you see fit. If you're new to kettlebell swings or you're not really fit right now, bring that weight down, bring those reps right, right down and find a nice balance. A feeling you kind of want afterwards is one of your heart rate coming up a bit, like you've, you know, like you've actually done some, uh, some cardiovascular workout, but at the same time, feeling a little bit of muscle soreness in your posterior chain. That's kind of the sweet spot you're looking for. And the next exercise you can add is what's called the stop start technique. This is another word for this is edging actually. So if you masturbate every now and then, this is something you can incorporate into your masturbation habits, which will help you to last longer. So rather than masturbating to finish as fast as you possibly can, you're going to be using the stop start technique instead. And that is basically, you're going to start your stimulation to yourself. And then before you get to that point of no return, before you get to the point where you finish and you lose control, you're going to stop and you're gonna let yourself calm down and relax again. And then you're gonna resume. So you're gonna stop and start. You're gonna build up before you reach that point of no, no return, calm down, bring your energy back down again, bring your breathing back under control. And then you're gonna try it again. All you're doing here basically is teaching your body to one, recognize that point of no return, that threshold where you will lose control, and being consciously aware of it, so you're in control of it, you can recognize it before you get there. And two, it's tr training your body to last with a longer overall time, a period amount of stimulation down there. I wouldn't recommend habitually masturbating at all, but if you do, throw the stop start technique in there, because there's a little bit of practice you can do before you actually get into the bedroom. It's gonna sort of teach your body to react the way you want it to react. So you wanna be in control of your body, not have your body being in control of you. So thanks very much for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep watching out for more videos from the Clubhouse Supplements YouTube channel. We've got a ton of free advice coming your way and I know you'll love it.